Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am here to unbox the small Gabrielle in the croc stamped leather from the 19A collection. I have obviously opened it already, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like um, coming from the boutique. I wanted to make this video because I was looking, I was desperately searching for information on it. Um, the only video that I could find was um, a girl who, but the, her video was in Mandarin, so obviously that didn't really help me too, too much. But I did manage to get this bag from my amazing SA, who, you know, she reserved one for me at the pre-launch. And I know that this bag was super, super popular. I really wanted a Gabrielle bag, but I just didn't really get on with the, you know, the standard Gabrielle bag with the quilting and, you know, kind of that softer leather. I really wanted something different, and I did was considering, you know, doing the chevron pattern or else I also considered, um, you know, finding the pre-loved black ombre goat skin one. But this one came out and I saw pictures of it on Instagram and I was immediately in love. So this is what it looks like. This is the small size. Um, I've obviously watched tons and tons of videos on the Gabrielle in general. And what I did notice is that people were saying that they're chains actually had oops, their chains actually had all four types of metal your silver hardware your ruthenium hardware and your shiny gold and the aged gold however i did notice on mine that it did only have the shiny gold hardware the ruthenium and the silver hardware but i'm wondering if it's because of this separate strap that comes with it if you can see it is a detachable strap and that both sides are the H gold so I'm just wondering if they tried to balance it out by only putting that shiny gold hardware in and contrary to some of the other Gabrielles the inside is actually lined in black and then it has your standard back pocket, your zip pocket, and then a small pocket with a little lipstick holder in it, and your Chanel logo in the aged gold hardware, and then also the ruthenium hardware on here. All right, and I just wanted to show you um, what can fit in this bag? I'm sure you've seen a lot of other, you know, what fits in my Gabrielle, but um, I'll just show you based on the SLGs that I have, and they are the more common ones, so I think based on what can fit in this bag, it can hopefully help you determine what can fit in yours. Oh, and I wanted to show you, so um, the det detachable strap came wrapped up in this type of cloth here. I got the camellias and I got the ribbon, got the protective felt that wrapped around the base of the Gabrielle, and then the dust bag, which I didn't even, didn't even open up yet, and then the care booklet. So with the Gabrielle, I know that a lot of the concern is actually the distressing of the leather and losing its structure over time. I really like this croc stamped calfskin. To me, it feels really thick and compared to the other Gabrielles, like it is heavier, like not even just because of the chain itself, but the bag itself is a lot heavier. To me, it feels really sturdy. To me, it feels really thick. Um, I've used it probably for about a week now. I've even traveled with it, took it on the plane, and there are absolutely no flaws whatsoever to mention. Um, and I inspect my bags really carefully. And, you know, as you know, with traveling, you know, you just, you do end up banging your bags around. Um, with a couple of the other Gabrielle reviews I've seen, they've said that, you know, you get a lot of stuff stuck in these little crevices here. And I actually do notice that there is some dust pieces. Um, if you're eating any snacks, it might get stuck in this little area. So, I mean, you can always just shake it out. Um, doesn't really bother me. 
All right, and I'll show you what it looks like with the detachable strap actually put on. And I do like that the bag can be held by the strap like so um, as a shoulder bag and then you kind of have these chains that hang down and I think it is really fun and really different. I think if this, I think the strap itself is such a great addition to the Gabrielle and I do hope that they start doing this. Um, with future releases as well just because I find that you know when you took off your bag and all your chains are on the ground here um, It's so you know, it's a lot to just gather up with your bag and people end up You know kind of pinching the top of the Gabrielle to lift up the bag um, That's what I've seen with a lot of the reviews that people are saying So I think having the strap you're just able to grab this and pick up your bag and go I think I really like this um, new added feature of it and when you wear the bag, it adds a really nice kind of added detail. Like obviously, you know, it is really flashy and it isn't for everyone um, and obviously screams Chanel. It's a really different addition to the Gabrielle and I really like it. I mean, once the whole logo mania is kind of over, like this is easy enough to just not add onto your bag or just use the strap on other bags. Like maybe, you know, if you're a fan of mixing designers, you can put it on your Fendi Peekaboo um, as a top handle and I think that would be super cute. Um, so I'll just do a quick what you can fit in this bag here. Move this, put it on the ground. So it just opens up. The zipper is very, very smooth as you can see. And like the other Gabrielles, you do have this long um, little ring here. This is meant to be clipped onto your keys so it's just easier to find your keys. I personally don't use it because I have a six, um, six key holder from Louis Vuitton, which I will show you later. And I don't know if the other Gabrielles have this, but there is a little leather flap here. I don't know if the camera's even picking it up. Um, but it just helps, you know, when you close your bag, nothing can kind of helps close up this hole here. Okay, so... Um, I always have my six key holder with me. This is just the one from Louis Vuitton and it fits in no problem and I have a variety of card holders. I do switch it up depending on you know how I'm feeling and what I'm using. Currently I am using that um, the card and the, the cash holder from Louis Vuitton from their new um, men's collection that recently launched not too long ago and this fits in here no problem. Um, I do put it in horizontally. I think vertically it just sticks out a little bit too much here. Um, if I wasn't zipping it up and I needed to put it in that way, I could absolutely do that. So put it in horizontally. If you have, you know, kind of a mini card holder like that, um, it does fit in. However, this is kind of meant to be as my um, excess card holder. Like I don't put my essential cards into here so with that being said I don't always take this so I'm just gonna leave it out for now but if you do use this as your daily card holder it absolutely can fit as you can see um, I have my airpods and they fit in no problem um, I have the iPhone XS just the regular size not the plus and it fits in no problem and here is another common item that I may or may not use. I usually put like my cosmetics in it um, but right now I have been traveling lighter so I haven't been putting this in so I actually haven't tried putting this into the Gabrielle with everything that I usually carry um, so I'm gonna actually try that right now. I mean my airpods would almost always go into here. Um, I have some mints and then I will you know put like a lipstick and a lip gloss into here. I'm gonna try fitting this in and see. With this bag, you do kind of have to play a little bit of Tetris with it, just because it is a stiffer bag. Okay, so it's doable, but it's 
a tight fit width wise and if I were to put my six key ring holder in it does fit it just has to stack on top um, so I don't know if you're a big person who always puts their phone in their bag that might be a problem um, you just have to do a little bit of Tetris here and I think you're gonna have to slip the phone in the middle or something like that you're just gonna have to keep pulling out your key holder at the top here before to reach your phone so it does close well um, like I said the leather is really structured and the bag is actually quite heavy it's not insane to the point where it's gonna break your shoulders but I think if you have a larger size it might because this is a weighty bag as it is um, obviously the size limits what you can actually put in the bag so that will always limit your weight of the bag if that makes any sense um, but yeah so far I love this bag so much I just think it's so cool with the crocodile um, embossing on it I know the croc stamped anything is really in right now so I am super loving this bag I think it's super cool dressed up or dressed down I think it will wear really well I'm not concerned about structure wear at all but even if I was this is the smaller size and like I said once you fill it up it does kind of you know give the bag structure so I'm not really concerned about that and if that happens then it happens um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed my video and hope hopefully you found that informative um, have a great day